welcome back to my channel guys thanks for stopping in I have an unboxing you can't see because my camera angle is really bad for big things if I have the camera too high everything's blurry if I have it too low there's no room but you don't care about the box anyway so I am going to go ahead get this out of the box and then I will be back so I'm gonna pause you I'm gonna take this out of the box you'll see what it is when it comes out of the box and then I can go ahead and open it so be right back okay and I'm back I did bring this up just a little higher as you can see anybody who knows is familiar with this box knows it is a diamond art club yes I haven't done an unboxing in a long time because it's really hard with my camera angle and yeah but I thought what the heck I just got this on when did it come in I'm trying to remember what day it came Friday and it's been sitting up in the craft room in the original box that you've seen in the beginning well you didn't see it you've seen part of it excuse me I needed a sip I've recorded a ton of videos today my throat is dry um, but I thought, what the heck, might as well I get it unboxed and get it put away. I thought if I'm going to do that, I might as well do a video. So, how are y'all doing today? It's been busy for me. As I said, I have done three videos prior to this one. So this makes number four, video number four for the day. First one was a whip and chat. Second one was a... Um, unboxing review and the third one was just I was going through some um, something and getting um, things out for the fall and thought I would do a video on it so you will all you will be seeing these videos coming up over the next couple of days so I know it's gonna be hard angle but as you see the blue band means it is a square I know this has already been unboxed on here, but it has not been unboxed on my channel. It's been unboxed on other channels. For the people that have never seen a Diamond Art Club, this here has how it works. It has your six steps. And up top here, it has your kit contents in three different languages. And then, like I said, this blue band here, it means it is a square. If this was a pinkish or purple band, it would be around so let me go ahead I'm gonna keep you in suspense anybody who knows me um, knows probably what this is um, this is my last buy for a while as this was used um, I used my rewards to pay for this because I'm kind of on a no buy right now as the past couple of months has been quite um, expensive with diamond paintings because of what's come out. So I used up rewards. I used up gift cards. I did sell a couple of my paintings to a couple of people and used that to um, replace ones. The ones I sold were ones I probably, you know, when I first got them, I was interested in them. And then um, I just kind of lost interest. Not that I didn't like them, but it just wasn't something that um, after I you know, got them, I would do them. So anyhow, so I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the box. And see what we've got here. It is a big one. I can tell you that right now. It is a big one. Here, I'll tease you a little bit. Do a little teasing. The box is empty. See, box is empty. Nothing else is coming out. Sorry, I shook you. So, we look at this kit. Not that you know anybody who has gotten Diamond Art Club knows what comes in the kit, but there might be some new people. Who knows? So, the kit comes as so. Comes in a nice little bag. Comes with a few bag. A few baggies, not a lot. I don't use these ones anyway. These are more of the cheapy bags. They tend to tear, but they're fine for, um, 
you know, like a one-time use type thing. So I'll throw those off to the side. The kit comes with a squishy and a pen with a single placer. I see that it looks like their new kit, or they're coming out with um, sending the tip, I mean the uh, multi-placers. This is not one that got a multi-placer. I wish it would have, but it looks like they're um, gonna start rolling out with the four placers again, which the thin ones, which I love. My problem is, I don't know, I can never get these things on right. I don't use them anyway, because I don't use these pens, so yeah. It also comes with two pieces of wax. Now, I have come to here, did not know this before, or never paid enough attention, but the darker wax I hear is better wax than the lighter wax. So as an example, Diamond Art Club wax always comes in pink, hearts. If you get something other than hearts from Diamond Art Club, you did not get a true Diamond Art Club. Let me see if I can find leather wax. Here we go. Now, if I am mistaken on this, please leave it in the comments. But I am under the impression from listening to a couple other creators that the darker wax is better. This here, as you can see, this is from another kit from a different brand company altogether. It is square and it is lighter. You, it's very translucent. This one here, it's translucent, but it's darker. And please excuse my nails. I need to go and get my nails done, but not today. All right, so two pieces of wax. It comes with your clear boat with a funnel. And because it's a square, it comes with the murderous tweezers. They are very sharp, so keep them away from children and keep the cap on. I've heard of creators who have actually injured themselves with these. So be extra careful with them. And only the square diamond paintings come with tweezers. If you happen to want to have a round uh, diamond painting and want tweezers, I'm sure somebody can get you a set of tweezers on a Facebook group page or something like that because every diamond painting kit that square comes with the tweezers. Okay, so I'm not going to hold you in suspense any longer. This is Winter Oasis by Chuck Pinson. Chuck Pinson is my hands down favorite artist across the board. I like, I mean, there's I love all the artists for the most part on Diamond Art Club, but Chuck Pinson is my favorite. He does landscapes and doing landscapes are my favorite diamond paintings to do. This is Winter Oasis. It is a 30 by 22 inches and in centimeters at 76 by 56. They are now showing um, by inches. That way it's easier to um, be able to get frames for if you would like. So there's that. This, they are giving these here. This is a sticker. As you can see, it is a sticker. They can be put on the end of your boxes for storage if you would like. Let's see here. Let me close the end of this box up because it doesn't need to be open. I'm going to trip over it. I know I will. So people can either put it at the end of their box. Let me see if I can get this in here. For storage or over top of it this way. Or they can put it in there if they are keeping a log of their diamond paintings. They can keep this, put the sticker on there. Or they've also got this. A lot of people will use <clears throat> this for their log book and this here to put on their storage containers. For an example, you have to excuse this um, Harbor Freight because, yeah, it, it got beat up. So I had to tape it, <laughs> but you'd be able to, to cut this off and put this here. So when you're, if you kit up ahead of time, like I do, then you can put the sticker on here and you'll know what diamond painting these drills go to. This is also has your labels on them. Sorry for the one out of focus. You can cut these things out and label your containers with them. I don't, I just, because I don't change my labels. I don't go by DMC 
code when I, or symbols when I am doing my diamond paintings, I go by number. That way I don't have to keep changing labels each time I kit down a diamond painting or re-kit one. And sometimes I can go ahead, if they have the same DMC codes and some, I can just dump what's from one diamond painting into the next if they're gonna be in there. And then I just go by number one, two, three, so on and so forth. Um, I'd probably get through faster if I did by code because I'd be able to look at the symbol on the um, canvas and then correspond it with the um, containers, but I just, I don't have to keep changing labels, so that's why I do that. So it is a square, and like I said, it is 30 inches by 22 inches or 76 centimeters by 56 centimeters. It does show the skew at the bottom, so you'll be able to match this with your um, canvas and your drills. So set that off to the side here. Let's get this wax baggy. Yeah, I have, this is, uh, the, I think, one of six bags of wax. I just keep putting it in a bag. If anybody needs wax, they know where to find it. All right. And then, let's not do this upside down. It comes very well protected. Diamond Art Club always has the best boxes. They come in an additional box. So this, you know, as you've seen in the very beginning, it was a brown box, and it came inside of it, had the Diamond Art Club box, and inside of it, it comes wrapped um, in, a, in a bag that wants to stick to my table. Now, I will not be able to put this all in one view. I apologize, my drafting table is not big enough to do that and still have my um, camera up here, my webcam. So I will do the best that I can. Now, Diamond Art Club has self-relaxing um, canvases. They are made out of a tarpaulin material, so and they are poured glue, so you're able to roll your diamond painting the opposite direction without um, affecting the glue. You won't get rivers or bubbles or anything like you do with um, double-sided adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this the opposite direction so I can get it to lay flat faster. If I let it lay on its own, it would eventually flatten itself out. But, and when I say eventually, I'm talking in a matter of just minutes. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead Roll it backwards. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes. You will also find step-by-step -step instruction manual that comes in every diamond painting. has a thank you for your purchase. It has tips and tricks. And then it has your steps. And then it also has as a token of gratitude, please enjoy 10% off your next purchase using co coupon code thank you 10 So that there comes in all of your diamond paintings. And I don't need the steps because, well, I know how to diamond paint. <clears throat> well, first we're going to look at this canvas. I said I'm not going to be able to get it all in at once, so I will have to kind of maneuver it around. And I apologize for that, but, <clears throat> you know, there's just not enough space to do things. So, uh, I really wish I had more space. I am so sorry. All right, on the back of this, too, you will see there's some wrinkles here. It's not wrinkles in the canvas. It's just air pockets that have gotten underneath the cover. So once I lift the cover, those will go away, and I will show you here in just a minute as a, an example. But <clears throat> you see here, this is the bottom half of the diamond painting. So there's you know, part of the house. There's a horse. There's what looks to be like grass, little pieces that are coming up from the, um, the snow. There's a fence there. Nice red door. And here's some more horses on this side. 
And then because this is poured glue, I can do this and not affect the integrity of the canvas. So this here is then the top part of the house. And then light inside the house. There's some trees. There's a really big tree. Let me see if I can bring it back just a little bit. Maybe I can get a little more in. Sorry for the movement here. Yeah, that, that didn't help much at all. It did not help much at all. But anyway, I hope that you get the gist of what I'm showing you here. All right, so let me see here. The wall. Yeah, there's a wall like just right to my left here. going to try and do this a different way. Hang on here. I'm trying to pull this cover back. And it's not working. Hang on here. I'm going to be upside down for a minute. I want to try and get an air bubble out to show you. So I see here. Like I said, it's an air bubble underneath the, um, under the, the cover. It, it has nothing to do with um, the canvas itself. It's just the, the cover has like an air pocket. All right. Let's see if you can see this. So, no, let me see if I turn this light on. Can you see it? Sorry. Sorry for that. Okay, so you see this this little bump here, okay, that is just because air has gotten underneath the cover. So once you take this, take your clear cover, you pull it back, <clears throat> and get this here, and you will see in impressions in the uh, canvas, you can't really see it you know, through here, but you'll see impressions from the cover um, on the canvas when you pull it back, but it does not affect your drills. You're not going to have problems getting your drills to lay nice and flat. They will lay beautifully. Okay, so. There's still a little air under this, but I said, it's not going to affect your canvas in, in any way. So let's look at the drill field. I'll pull this back here so you can see. It is a clear drill field. I just can't get it to focus. And I think this light's affecting that. So let's try turning this light off again. See if that helps. I'd focus. It is a clear drill field. I just can't get my camera to focus. I say, hang on here. Let's try this this way. Yeah, I've got this thing folded in threes. And it will not hurt the canvas in it at all. Oh, and you had to fall back here. I am working on getting better camera equipment. See, the drill, the drill, drill field is very clear. There we go. That is a percent sign that looks blurry, but it's just blurry because my camera is not cooperating. But anyhow, so Diamond Heart Club has the clearest symbols. Doesn't look like there's any that is going to be a problem. They usually use the darker symbols on the, um, like, or yeah, the darker symbols on the lighter colors and the lighter colors on the darker symbols. So 
and they they do use uh, keyboard symbols as well as numbers and letters. I'm trying to see if there's going to be an issue with arrows. Arrows seem to confuse me. Yes, there are some that are going to go down and there are some that are going to go to the left, but they are different in different colors in, in a completely different color category. All right, so I'm going to set this off to the side because there's just not enough room for me. To show you the drills. Now this does have ABs and as I said before it is square with ABs. And I am going to try and find a different place to do my unboxings. I'll just have to move my computer. I have an all-in-one computer so I just have to move it to a larger area and yeah be able to do it better this. Next time but as I said, that is why I have not been doing unboxings because the unboxings are always too big for the area in which I have to work. But let's see here. Lots of drills. Lots and lots of drills. Let me see here. It does have 51 colors, as you can see. 51 colors. And let's see where we're going to start at. These strips are so long. Such long strips. Alright. So our first color is $779. 333. 951. 820. This is one of my favorite DMC. Cut. Uh, colors 798 two bags of 798 413 30 24 two bags of 30 24 we've got two bags of 939 938 oh I'm sorry yeah that's right 938 3860, 3861, 3799, 8090, 3772, 436, 975, and 322. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, while I set this off to the side, I have seen um, in a couple of Facebook groups where people have purchased their first Diamond Art Club and they are kidding up their Diamond Art Club and they don't realize Diamond Art Club does not put their drills um, in order in the bags here. So when you are kidding up your diamond painting, you need to pay attention to your um, schematic here, or I mean your, your legend here, because a lot of people were just putting them in, you know, diamond, it, it, just putting them in one, two, three, four. No, you can't do that. Not with Diamond Art Club. You need to pay attention to your DMC code and your um, the serial number of one through X amount of, of uh, colors you have. That way, um, they seen a, this one person. They just started pulling them off the bags and just laying them down as they did them or numbering them according to how they pulled them off and they they weren't upset they weren't very happy with when, when they realized what they had done so just for future reference these are not as you can see they are not in any numeric order at all they are just according to um, the drills that are in there so we've got 301 141 is our AB that's the first ABs it is a white and AB for anybody who is new to diamond painting. AB means Aurora Borealis. It is an iridescent coating that is put on the drills to give them a little extra shine as well as it reflects the colors from the paint the drills that are laid beside it. I don't know if you can see. There it is. You can see these here have a little more sparkle than these. Or 
open these. Alright, so these are your first ABs. There are two ABs in this. So 141, 3830, 498, 917, 3856, or no, sorry, 356, 895, 435, 3855, 920, 992, 814, 775, this is one of my favorite colors, 841, a taupe, again, another one of my favorite colors, 738, 327, 3770, 3854, 3814, 550. This is a, it's like a fan favorite for everyone. You are getting this in natural light as, as well. This, but it just doesn't appear. It has more of, it's showing really purple here, but it is more of like an eggplant type purple, I think, or like a dark orchid. And 832. Change that one. Now, these are the big ones. These are the big strips. <clears throat> All right, let's, we're gonna go ahead and start this other end because they're not, like, they're not upside down. Sorry for the crinkle. All right, here are the other two ABs and we got a ton. Diamond Art Club really gave us a large amount of ABs for this painting and I love it. And I'll show you, I'll try to show you um, on the canvas afterwards where these are going to go. So this one is 136. And this is my favorite. It's like an electric blue. This is my favorite um, AB. All right, so we have four, 415, 954. Got two bags of 954. 3325. We've got. <clears throat> Excuse me, three bags, three bags of 3325, 318, one bag of 310. That's the, another thing that I love about Chuck Pinson. You don't get a lot of 310s. 3857, 317, two bags of 979, or 797, excuse me, two bags of 3755. Right, 3371, 414, 3841, and 823. So, let's grab the canvas real quick and let's see where these ABs are going to go if I'm able to give you a clear idea. Alright, so. The symbols for the ABs are just numbers, one and two. One and two are the symbols. So let's turn this light back on. Let me see if I can bring you down a little closer. Maybe that might help. All right. This is right here. Gosh, this candy is just so massive that I cannot get it all in there. Okay, so if you can see right here come on focus it doesn't want to focus it does not want to focus okay right there you see the ones this is the one symbol it's a little blurry but all the dark areas that are ones those are all going to be the blue um ABs and the twos, which are the um, white ones, but you see all those real dark areas here. Those are all ABs. They're all throughout the sky. All the way throughout the sky are the ABs for the for that um, 136. 
And then the 141, is that what the other one was? Yeah. 141, there's not a lot of them. I'm trying to find where they will be on this diamond painting. And I'm not, oh, those are number two, sorry. That's why I couldn't find it, because it's number two. Those are gonna be along the bottom, scattered throughout the snow. So your twos are going to be right here. Let's see if I can get you up a little closer to see the twos. Where was it? I lost it. Okay. Nope. I gotta fold this again. Yeah, where did I had them? Now I lost it. Okay. Right here is some twos. So it's just kind of scattered throughout the snow. There's not a lot of, the, of these um, in this painting. I mean, there's very little of the twos. And a couple more over here. All right. I mean, these are the, these are really hard to find because there's just so few of them. So we have them here. We've got, oh my goodness sakes, I cannot believe how very little they gave for this one. Yeah, I mean, oh, here's here's a patch here, there's a patch of twos here. So all it is is just an enhancement, and you can add more um, ABs to your paintings to make it your own. Uh, but you don't want to overdo it because, well, a little goes a long way with anything. But it, if you if you add too many ABs to a diamond painting, it takes away from the picture itself or the painting itself. ABs are just like I said, it's an enhancement. It's to get to reflect other colors and bring out the, the colors that surround the ABs, make them pop a little bit more. So, this is my unboxing, and I apologize for, like I said, how difficult it is to do a big unboxing. But I just thought, what the heck, I had it out. I wanted to go through it, wanted to check, make sure I had all my drills. Um, Diamond Art Club will, um, the la when I am recording this, let me check and see if it is still in stock or if it is out of stock at this time, because... Well, Diamond Art Club is doing the best they can to keep things in stock and get things back as quickly as we can, but, as they can, excuse me, but as you know, we are in a pandemic. If you are currently watching this September 21st, 2020, we are in a pandemic. If you are watching this in the future, congratulations. We survived being stuck at home, quarantined, not being able to be out with our friends and with our family members because... We are safety first. We are thinking of the health and safety of others. And we will get through this. For me, this is what I've waited for and practiced for my entire adult life. To be able to stay home and not have to go out any more than necessary. But anyhow, let's see here. Um, currently, this diamond painting is... It is currently out of stock. But don't... Let that deter you from going and signing up for their email. There is a spot when you click on this, you scroll down and it gives you the opportunity to subscribe and they will notify you when this diamond painting is back in stock. It is um, $54.99, but this is a large diamond painting, so it's worth it. The quality is worth it, and you will, they do have um, insurance on this, oops insurance. If you lose drills, they will lose or do not have enough drills. People spill them, they drop them. Sometimes they, there's not enough um, drills in there that you can contact them, and they will send you up to eight colors. So if you have, say, eight 
um, colors that you ran out of, you didn't have enough of, or maybe they weren't there, which it's not very often. I've only had once or twice that I've gotten a Diamond Art Club that I didn't have the color at all. But that was way back. They've made so many huge improvements that um, not having colors is not something that happens often. But if you happen to run out, just contact them through customer service. They have the best customer service and they will get them shipped out to you right away. I mean, I've called them because I ran out of a color. I called, I messaged them um, through their Facebook Messenger, let them know. They asked me what the color was I needed, DMC I needed. I told them it was in the mail the next day and I had it like within two to three days. Shipping is taking a while, so please, if you do not receive your diamond painting in the amount of time that it states on your order confirmation, it will let you know. Diamond Art Club will contact you. Once it ships, you will be no notified that it's shipped. And then it is shipped DHL. In to me, it ships DHL to my local post office. But there are times where it says three to six days or five to six days. You cannot base that on what's going on with our postal service at this time, whether it's na uh, whether it's in the U.S. or international. Shipping is a hot mess. So you will get a tracking number. And if you track this, your tracking issue is going to be with your post office. I mean, you can contact Diamond Art Club if you have not received it when they say, because then they can help you find it. But your biggest issue is going to be with your post office. Also, Diamond Art Club is not responsible for the condition of your diamond paintings. If your box comes... You know, the condition of the box that is the shippers or shipping company's problem that is DHL UPS FedEx the United States Post Office or outside the country whatever their shipping method is outside the United States you need to take up the damaged boxes with your post office yes you can let Diamond Art Club know but don't come at them because your box came damaged they packed them nicely. You've seen the box when it came out. You've seen the condition of the diamond painting. It did not come to me flat. It came double boxed. The box that it came in was in perfect shape. That does not always happen. The outer box does not always come in perfect shape, but the inner box is not damaged. If you have an issue, please do not come at Diamond Art Club's customer service. That is not their fault. You can contact them, let them know, because maybe maybe they can contact the post office or UPS and let them know, but it does not mean that they're going to pay attention, meaning the post office or UPS. We've seen delivery people, how they take care of our packages. They don't care. They're in a hurry to get them out as fast as we want them to get them to us. Only thing is, is they don't take in consideration that they may be in a hurry to get them to us and we might be in a hurry to get them, but I'd rather have to wait a day or two longer if it means it's going to come to me in, con in the condition that it left the company in. So again, I will link this in the bottom or in my uh, description box below. Like I said, it is currently out of stock, but you can be added to the email or to the subscriber to where when it comes back in stock, they will send you out an email letting you know that it is in stock. So if you have any questions, please leave that in the comment section below. I will respond as soon as I, you know, as soon as I can say get it or I see it. Um, let me know what your favorite Chuck Pinson is or what your favorite Diamond Art Club painting in general is. And if you got this, have you started it yet? Or are you holding off waiting for a, another Chuck Pinson chuck along like Mindy's Diamond Moments does? I just finished my um, Chuck Along 2. I did the first one. And I think that was back in the springtime. And then she's having one currently. It ends at the end of September now. Um, I am saving this. Because I'm sure she's going to have another one before the year's end. So it's probably going to be around Christmas. I'm crossing my fingers. Mindy, if you happen to be subscribed to my channel and watch this video, are we going to have a Christmas Chuck Along? But, um, and I will link Mindy's channel 
in the description box below too so you can go over and check out her videos and for her chuck alongs I will link the um, yeah add the link to this in the uh, description box below and all the other links that I have there's all kinds of links that are going to be in there so I hope that you enjoyed the unboxing I'm sorry it was a little mess but I hope you were able to get the gist of what I was showing you if you have any questions like I said leave them in the comments below or you can message me privately if you don't want to leave um, a message for everyone to see my email my Instagram and my Facebook are all going to be in this um, in the description box and if you could hit that subscribe button so you can watch all of my scatterbrain videos as they come out there's going to be several coming out over the next week or two and if you would please give me a thumbs up if you like this video if not give me a thumbs down thanks for the watch time though I no one's gonna I'm not gonna know if you like my videos or not without you watching them and I can change con you know trying to change content or add content as requests please share this uh, share my channel and yeah I'm getting, I've talked so much today with all these videos I'm getting tongue-tied now but again before I embarrass myself anymore I hope you have a great day take care and see you soon Bye, guys.